Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about one of the amazing features of Python which is decorators. Now think about this, when you talk about functions, functions are built to perform certain tasks, right? So example, let's say we have this file and in this file we have a function which is predefined. So let's get a function here and this will be for division. Of course, you can write any complex code, but just to keep it simple, let's go for division. And of course, a division function takes two parameters. So we'll take a and b and this will return the division of this two. So we'll say return a divided by b. Simple code, right? Of course, you can make it complex. You can go for complex code, but just to keep it simple, we got two lines, a division which divides two numbers. And then if you call this function, if you say, let's say if I pass 4 comma 2, and if you run this code, of course, you have to also print. Instead of returning here, let's print. So if you call this function now, let's right click and say run. You can see we got 2.0. This is what we wanted, right? We wanted the output. Okay, that's great. But what if, if I pass the value which is 2 and 4, so what are you expecting the output here? So the output which I'm expecting here is of course 0.5 because that's what you will get. And you can see we got 0.5. So what if I say I want a different logic here? The logic which I want is, doesn't matter in which sequence I pass the value, it should be always the numerator should be bigger than the denominator. So example in this case, if I'm passing two and four, it should be reversed while dividing. Only when my numerator is less than denominator, I want to swap them. Okay, so in this case, even if you are passing 2 and 4, it, the division should be 4 divided by 2. Okay, so we can do that, right? We can have our own logic. So just for the example, we are going for this. Okay, so what do you think what we have to do? So, of course, as a user, I should be passing 4 and 2. But let's say as a user, I want to pass 2 and 4. It is your job, developer, to make sure that they are getting swapped. Okay, you will say, okay, it's my job, I will do it. So you will go to the existing code which is division and you will say, okay, so before dividing those two numbers, I want to apply a logic. The logic is if A is less than B, I just want to swap them. And we know how to swap two numbers, right? We can simply say A comma B is equal to B comma A. Simple logic. And then once you have done that, if you're on this code, you can see we got 2.0. It was so simple, right? But we got a twist. The twist is, as I mentioned, Imagine this code, the division code which you have here is not with you. This is in some other file and you are importing it. Maybe you don't have the access for this function and maybe you don't want to change the code of the existing function. So I want you to swap those two values without touching the div function. Is it possible? And that's where decorators comes into picture. So what are decorators? So using decorators, you can add the extra features in the existing functions. I know that sounds weird, but we can do that. So just to explain that, what I will do is I will create a new function. Now this will be a decorator for div. So I will say, we'll call it as smart because it can change the code, right? So we'll say smart div. Now what this smart div will get? Now smart div will take div as the function or as a parameter. So let's pass the function here. So it will accept a function. Again, why we'll talk about that later. So this smart div will accept a function. And then, so if you want to change the logic, you have to write a code, right? I want to do that in another function. So we can write a function inside a function. That's the beauty of Python. Uh, so let's get a function here. So we'll say def. Uh, we can have any function name. Let's go for inner because inner function. And then this inner function will take the same parameter which is taken by div. Two parameters, let's take a comma b. The name should not be same, but you can have any name, but the number of parameters should be same. So you're passing two, you have to accept two. Now in this inner, you can write the logic which you were write, trying to write in div. So which was if a is greater than b, in this case, you will swap them. So swapping is a comma b is equal to b comma a. Just to remove these spaces there, let's do that. And that's okay, let me just have a space here. So you can see we are creating a smart function here, which has enough function who is doing our job. So this is the code which I want inside my div. Now once you have done that, you simply have to return. So you have to return the function which you are accepting here. Basically, you know, you are actually calling div here. So in the return, you will pass that two values a and b, the new values. So the original values were two and four. After swapping, you're passing four and two. So you are calling a function by passing these two values. Now this function is your div function, but you'll be thinking how they are matching. Just give me some time. And then after this, you just have to return the 
in a function because that's the function which is actually doing the job for you okay but will this work let's try let's run this code and you can see you're still getting 0.5 is because there's no connection between this smart div and this div let's create that connection so what we can do is before calling the new div function we can say div is equal to let's make it smart so we can assign the function to a function because everything in python is an object right so we can say div is equal to smart div in which you will be passing the div function now this div function is the original function you have and this is a new one in fact you know just to give you an idea i'll make this as div1 and let me call that function div1 by passing 2 and 4 so basically we are calling div but indirectly okay so we are calling div1 which is calling which is using the smart div function by passing the values it will swap the values in build and then it will actually call the div function at the end which will print the values let's run this code and you can see we got the output which is wrong that's weird okay i guess there's something wrong with the if condition my bad uh, so errors uh, okay so as a programmer you always make mistakes right so you can see it should be less than right that's what you want to swap so if you're in this code now oh we got two that's what we wanted right in fact the amazing thing is you don't have to go for a new name you can actually replace with the original name itself which is dave dave so it looks like we are calling this div function but no just before calling them we are changing the definition for div right so this is the old div we are making a new div now so you can see we got 2.0 the amazing part about decorators is you can change the behavior of the existing function okay, at the compile time itself so that's the decorators for you so just to recap what we are doing is we are creating a new function which takes function as a parameter and that's the beauty that this is not possible in all the languages uh, so yes we can do that in python because python is also a functional programming and then we can define a function inside a function which is actually replacing the code of div behind the scene and then we before calling div we are saying div is equal to smart div and we are passing div so basically we are changing the way div works so that's how you can use decorators in python i hope you got something about decorators in this video so i hope you are enjoying this series let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos